Can I just make you look super GQ handsome? I'm gonna knock it out of the park this one. LA homelessness has spiked 16 percent. There are now 36,000 active homeless people that they've counted, not just in the last year, and that isn't the only thing that has exploded in LA. Are hey, you gonna be around here tomorrow? Tomorrow I got a couple trailers set up for showers. I got six barbers coming. We got food for you, massages. Come through 8 a.m. Yeah, third and rose. Yeah, I guess you heard about it already, but we got some sneakers. I don't know if you, if you need one of these. Well, I'll get you some new ones. You're about my size. I want to let you know that tomorrow. Got one. You got one? Yeah. All right, I'll see you there. Tomorrow, what time? Tomorrow, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Okay. I'll see you there. Sweet. Nice to meet you, Marty. I'll see you there. All right. Thanks. All right, so we're doing barbers. Barbers, massages, clothes. We come out every day to uh, one of our locations. We usually will have 30, 40 people waiting on us. So we do a sign up list. When your name comes up, you go in, you got a clean shower, towel, 15 minutes of hot water, uh, soap, razor, whatever you need. You know, having a place where you come and they treat you well, they treat you like a king, allows you to build yourself back up. This is actually happening it's now. Actually happening. Remember when we talked about this? It was this? all a dream. It was, it was all a dream. dream. Now it's actually it's happening. Yeah. Cool guys are here. Front and center. I'm going to get a haircut. <laughs> Jack's up. Oh no, I heard the guy does pranks though. The guy who orchestrated this. These are fire, dude. They have you show up, and you go out, and you pick up trash and clean up the street. They'll get you housing, and then they start working on getting you a job. Is that something you'd be into? 15 years ago, I was in a similar situation where I was on the streets, hooked on drugs and alcohol, and I managed to make a comeback. Nice to meet you, Douglas. I'm Tawny. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks. So, are you wow. not working right now? No. How about it? How about if we set you up with a job for a month? Would you oh, be into oh, that? Yeah. 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 We could probably I, yeah. we could probably share it. When's the uh, last time you got a haircut? Yeah, they, About a year now. A year? Yeah, Does this work for you? You look good, bro. Hey, you need some sunblock on your nose. I know. We got any sunblock? It's funny. Yeah. It's this morning. I told my friend Dave. I said I, I hope to God they're Adidas, all of them. And they are. I can't believe it. It's a miracle. All right. Not only are we hooking everybody up with haircuts, showers, food, clothes. They're getting massages. How's it feeling? There? <laughs> Enjoying it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, but are you living on the streets right now? Right now, are you I'm, sleeping on the, at, I'm on the boardwalk board right next to my bed. Are you the young photos uh, in here? My Facebook has a bunch of Really? Let's, Let's look it up. Look at that. So right here? Legend so Knuckles that. in the bowl right That's there. That's you? Yeah. Dog time. But none of these guys want haircuts. They're rock and rollers, <laughs> bro. Nobody's on. Tell me how they feel. Yeah, push into that. Hopefully, I don't have any more surgery. Man, your feet are wide. Ah! I'm killing life. Killing it. You getting your cut now? Yes, sir. Oh, it's the finishing pieces now. It all comes together right here. You enjoy yourself? Yes, sir. When's the last time you got a haircut? Oh, man, it's been about three months, man. Three months? I got a three month grow on my head, bro. Okay. <laughs> Born and raised in Venice? Where are you living at now? I'm on the streets. On the streets? How long have you been on the streets? Uh, a few years now. A few years? I'm looking for a place to ask me to speak, though. It's kind of tough going to people when you, when you ain't. Trimmed up, you want to go best you can, first impression, you know. Yeah. Man, I had more half dead than I thought, huh? <laughs>
You know, I believe a haircut can change somebody's life. Like it is one step in the right direction. And if somebody's going in for a job interview or they're kind of teetering on giving up, you know, a haircut can transform somebody and give them hope and actually give them drive for that day to move in a good direction. He's popping tags now. You hey. see this? You see him? He's glowing. Brand new, we brand new, we got a brand new. We're going fresh. How are you doing? Honestly, it takes a lot of people. It takes a village. Just for me, I have like six people. I have six people working to get me out the street right now. Grab that. Thank you. Oh, it's gorgeous. You like it? Yes. It's still you. Yes. You are very much you. Very feminine. My dear. God bless you. Have a good day. Yeah. Right. People go in, they know they're loved, they know they're cared for and respected. A big thing at Lava May is radical hospitality. We treat everybody with the highest level of love and respect and, and help build them to back up. You know, it's, it's hard out on the streets. You, uh, you're, you're constantly looked down upon. You're not looking at yourself with a lot of uh, respect. Thank you, Amigo. Yeah, let's see. Appreciate it. Oh, or this Nate. Let me see you one more time in the mirror. Take those glasses off. Every day, people coming out feeling, you know, I feel new, I feel like a million bucks, I feel good again. I get to watch them build themselves back up, go from from being you know, systemically homeless, not looking for a way out, to moving all the way to getting their keys and getting an apartment, moving, moving on up back into society. I'm doing good. <laughs> good, my man. Fresh. Now that we got everyone looking super fresh and clean and feeling good and happy, let's do like a little look book with them. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, a little walk. We'll go running from the cops. No, I'm just kidding. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, man, I appreciate you. If it wasn't for you guys, it would be for no hope. No hope means everyone does dope. No hope means everybody does dope, he said. Don't everybody do dope. <laughs> oh my god, that was so great. It was the best to do. It was like, oh, I can't even, I'm like. It's crazy to me on how much of an impact you can make in someone's life with something so simple as a haircut a shower, some love. I just really hope this video inspires some of you guys to go out in your community and do something positive. Just acknowledging somebody that's in need goes a long way. So grateful for Dollar Shave Club for stepping in and supporting our vision to serve our community. If you don't already know, Dollar Shave Club is a men's grooming delivery service that ships straight to your door. I've been a customer for three years now and it's incredible to work with them. They don't only have razors, they also do face washes, face soap, shampoo, butt wipes if you need them, some fellas need them. If you're interested in supporting them, I got you to hook up for five bucks, which is super cheap. Razors are like 30 at the store. So what you get in a starter kit is an executive handle, four razor blades, some shave butter, some mint and cedar face and body wash, and a sage and black pepper shampoo and conditioner. So if you wanna grab that five dollar starter kit, I put a link in the description, it's right down there, dollarshaveclub.com backslash jesse. Like I said, just $5. And by supporting a brand like this, you're also supporting somebody like me that's making conscious efforts in their community. I know this is my video, but it took an entire tribe, and I just wanna thank everybody that came together to make this possible. To all my friends that helped, I love you guys, thank you. There's bombs going off. The shower company that came through, Power of the Shower, Lava May, you guys are doing incredible things, thank you. Oh my God, Jason and the men's groomer, this dude is a rock star. I really hope you go look, check him out. He's been cutting uh, homeless hair for about four years now. He was actually homeless himself. He's got a crazy story. Check him out. Adidas, you guys are awesome. Donated all those sneakers. It's been incredible. And you guys, like, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have this platform to push such awesome content like this. And I want to do more. So please show some love. Hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.